Hello everyone, welcome to our class. Before anything else, shall we stand up and pray? Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Bless us this day as we have our lesson. Amen. All right, you may now take your seat. Again, good morning, class. Can you say, good morning, teacher? Again, can you say, good morning, teacher? All right, this is your teacher, Yosente. And today, I will be your teacher in English. But you can call me Teacher Yos. Can you say Teacher Yos? That's right. Are you feeling great today? If you are feeling great today, can I hear hooray from you? Hooray! You are indeed feeling great today. Before we begin, I want you to know our classroom rules. Rule number one, listen when your teacher is talking. Number two, you need to follow the directions carefully. Third, raise your right hand if you want to say something. Fourth rule, respect yourself and other people. Lastly, enjoy and have fun learning English. Can we say English is fun. All right, again, can we say English is fun. What a great start. Today, we are going to learn about nouns. That's right, can we say nouns? Yes, nouns. And at the end of our class, I want you to define and give examples of nouns. Identify various objects and use nouns in sentences. Did you know that everything around us has a name? So, nouns are the names of person, place, or a thing. There are so many people around us and all of them have names. Let's find out some of the examples. Are you ready? Let's go. One example is a boy, a girl, a teacher, like me, and also a doctor. A sister is also a noun that names a person. There are also some places around us, like what can you see in the picture? Yes, Anna. That's right. Great job, Anna. It is a school. It is where we go and study. Therefore, a school is a noun that names a place. Another example is Vietnam. Can you say Vietnam? All right. Oh, we also have, what is this place? Yes, it's a park where we 
usually play. Another one is the library. Can you say library? All right. Things that we see have names too. One example is this one. This one. What is this? Yes, it's a paper. It is where we write our assignments and lessons. We have another one and it is a pencil. That's right, a pencil. Yum, yum, yum. Blueberry is another example of a noun. Can you say blueberry? All right. A book is also an example of a noun. A thing in particular. Now we are going to play a game. Who is excited? Anyone? All right, everybody seems so excited for this game. We are going to play Guess the Picture Game. Teacher Yos will show you pictures. And all you have to do is to tell me the names of the pictures being shown. Understood? All right, let's start. And here is our first picture. What is the name of the picture? A policeman. Great job. How about our second picture? Can anyone tell me? It's the zoo. You nailed it. How about our third picture? You got it. It's a father. How about this one? Can you tell me? It's a baby. You are awesome. Can you tell me what is this thing? A crayon. Good job. How about this giant thing? Oh. Wow, what is this place called? It's a pool. Keep it up. Let us have another game. And this game is called Noun Hunting. Let us help our friends find all the nouns listed here. We are going to look for the can, grandmother, park, car, a baby, balloon, trash can, mop, balloon, and a forest. Can you help teacher find the can? Can. Can you see where is the can? There you go. We found the can. Let's find where is grandma or grandmother. There you go. We found grandma. She is under the trees. Hmm. Where is the park? Have you seen the park already? Over there. That's right. How about the car? Can you see the car? 
There we go. It's behind those trees. How about the baby? Where is the baby? Hooray! The baby is sitting on the branch. How about a balloon? Where is the balloon? Awesome! The boy is holding the balloon. Can you also help teacher find the trash can? Where is the trash can? Well done! It's beside the park. Teacher is also looking for the map. Where is the map? All right. How about the forest? Where is the forest? Great. All right. We found the forest. And the forest is where all the things are in. You are indeed good hunters. Everyone, give three claps to yourselves. One, two, three. For our last activity, you are going to encircle the noun or nouns that can be found in the sentence. We have an example here. I love my school. Can you repeat that? I love my school. In that sentence, you're going to circle the noun that you can see. Now, what is the noun in the sentence? Awesome! It's the school. For number one, I go to church. I go to church. Number two, the pencil is long. The pencil is long. Number three, he kicked the ball. He kicked the ball. Number four, I love going to the beach. I love going to the beach. And number five, I love my brother. I will give you five minutes to finish this activity. Then after that, we are going to check your work. Great, everybody seems to get the correct answers. Good job, everyone. Now, in order for you not to forget about nouns, let us sing this noun song. Today I learned a noun can be a person, place, or thing. Today I learned a noun can be a person, place, or thing. Today I learned a noun can be a person, place, or thing. That is all for today. See you again on our next lesson.